Hello and welcome to Adding and Subtracting Fractions. We'll get straight into it. The first one we're going to be looking at is how to add fractions with the same bottom number. And the example here is 1 8 plus 3 8. We'll be looking at nice little pizzas down there. Now if you have 1 8 of a pizza and you have 3 8 of a pizza, all up, you have 4 8 of a pizza. You have 4 bits all together. And that is the same, as you'll probably see, as a half. Okay, nice and easy, bottom number stays the same, the only thing you're adding is the top number. So next we'll look at where you have a different bottom number, what you do. And the example here is where you've got, say, one eighth plus a half. Now what you need to do here is make the two bottom numbers the same. Now remembering the stuff that you did on equivalent fractions earlier, the way that we can do this is by changing the half to a number over eight. And to do this, we multiply the top and the bottom number on the half by four, which makes it into four eighths. So we end up with an equation one eighth plus four eighths, which altogether is five eighths. Okay, something a bit more difficult now, two thirds plus a quarter. Now, to work out what we're gonna to have to change these fractions into, we're gonna be looking for a number that both three and four go into, the bottom numbers of both these fractions. And that number is 12. Now to get two thirds is a number over 12, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by four. To get one quarter is a number over 12, we need to multiply the top and the bottom number by three. So doing this, we'll see, obviously the bottom number on the new fraction of the answer is gonna be 12. For the top one, two thirds, we're gonna be multiplying that one by four. So two by four is eight. And then for the one quarter, well we times the bottom number there by three. So one times three is three. This leaves us with 8 plus 3 over 12. The answer is 11 over 12. The next thing we're going to look at is how to add when you've got mixed numbers involved. So, you look round about on this one, 1 and 7 eighths plus 2 and a quarter. You see round about, the answer probably is going to be a little bit more than 4. We'll just keep that in mind. So the first thing you do with these is you have to change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 1 and 7 eighths becomes 15 over 8, and 2 and a quarter becomes 9 over 4. Okay, that's the first step done. The second thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make those bottom numbers the same again. So both bottom numbers go into 8. Okay, 15 over 8 is fine. The 9 over 8 bit we're going to have to multiply by 2 for both the top and the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, 9 times 2 is going to give 18, which gives us the equation 15 plus 18 over 8. And 15 plus 18 is 33. The bottom number stays the same as 8. We can simplify this a little bit further now. And 33 divided by 8 gives us 4 with 1 left over, so we put that as 1 over 8. Finally, what we're going to have a look at is the idea of subtraction. Now, the idea with subtraction is exactly the same. So, we get an example here of 7 over 8, take away 6 over 8. 7 eighths, take away 6 eighths. As we'll count it down, 6 eighths, 5 eighths, 4 eighths, 3 eighths, 2 eighths, 1 eighth. Yeah, pretty easy. Then you can have a look at it. 7 take away 6 is 1. So, 7 eighths, take away 6 eighths is 1 eighth. The next example we'll look at is where we've got a mixed number or a whole number. 2 take away 5 over 8. Now, the way to change 2 into a fraction is you can see on the pizzas here, each bit has 8 slices. So all up, 2 bits of pizza has 16 slices. We can write that, the 2 as a fraction of 16 over 8. Okay, which makes sense, 16 divided by 8 is 2. So 16 over 8 take away 5 over 8. We can slowly take all these away. 16 take away 5 gives you 11, and the bottom number is going to stay the same as 8. So this can be simplified further to become 1 and 3 eighths. Just to sum up, the steps involved in adding or subtracting fractions are as follows. The first thing you have to do is you have to turn any mixed number into an improper fraction. The next thing you have to do you have to use equivalent fractions, the idea of equivalent fractions, so that you can make the bottom numbers on the fractions the same before you actually go ahead and then complete the question as required. Once you've done the question, just do any simplification, anything like that, 
just to make your answer a bit easier to understand. Anyway, good luck with all that. See you next time.